Sun City live streams out here at the, Wal at the neighborhood Walmart on North Loop. Here with the Law and Paws uh, animal shelter for abused and neglected animals. And we are going to do a live stream with uh, the organization Law and Paws to see exactly what it is. And we've covered them before. We did, a, we did a live stream, I think it was last month when they were at the Walmart in the Northeast. And uh, they are, uh, just to give you a quick background, they are an organization that, uh, that, that uh, the, actually the, the person who founded the organization is a police officer herself. And she, she started it by going on calls that had to do with uh, neglected animals, abused animals. And she saw a couple of animals and she took them in and she decided instead of taking them to the El Paso shelter where they would not have really a good chance of being rehabilitated because they don't have the facilities or staff to do that. She took it upon herself to start her own organization and, and the little shelter that she runs for these abused and neglected animals. And she rehabilitates them and she gets them back into a scenario where uh, they're comfortable around people and uh, they can be adopted instead of uh, at the shelter with, uh, at the uh, facility, the city facility, what they do is if nobody adopts them after a period of time, they put them down. And she saw that a lot of these animals just needed uh, love and care. So instead of just putting these animals down, she decided to take it upon herself is a few years ago. And you can find her website at lawandpaws.org. Uh, law, law, in pa law in the letter N, paws.org. And she'll tell us about what, what they're collecting for today and how many animals she has in her shelter and how you guys can go about helping and spreading the word. If you can't help, spread the word. Uh, these poor little animals, you know, that people uh, adopt and then they turn around and, and uh, neglect them because they really can't take care of the animals. And so they, or they chain them up in the backyard where nobody even pays any attention to them and it's just a cruel treatment of animals which, you know, in some places now is considered a felony. Uh, and I agree wholeheartedly with that. If you don't, if you're not going to care for an animal, don't adopt an animal. And if you're going to adopt an animal, don't tie it outside. Like if it's, uh, like if it's a beast. You know, we live in a, a, a society here where we need to respect all life, and especially animals that have no way to defend themselves. So we're going to come over here and check out. Uh, we're going to check out Law and Paws, and they're going to tell us a little bit about what's going on. And I believe they're going to be out here from 12 to 4. We're going to find out. Come out and you make a donation, you get free popcorn. What else do you get? Hi, what is your name? Uh, Margie. Margie. Hi, Margie. I'm Ben. So we have, what do you got here? What's going on? So we have free popcorn and soda uh, with any donation. And now those funds are going to our animal rescue. So we can get them food. We can get them the medical needs they need. All right. And you've been working with them or volunteering I've for I've been a while? volunteering with them for about a year. About a year. Yeah. So how many animals have you seen come and, and go through your organization? You know what? We've rescued one ourselves. Uh, but I think people come and, and take animals home and they're just happy because they find their forever home. Yeah. So yeah. they find their companion. But I've seen families that come searching for just a soda, but then they're thinking of adopting. Yeah. So they go ahead and just uh, do it through our animal rescue instead of going to a you know, a pet store. So these are these are uh, animals that the police have taken out of homes, right? Yes. Or, okay, can these you explain are, that? Yes, these are animals that have been victims to animal cruelty. For example, if a neighbor uh, calls and, and says there's an animal that has been tied to a tree or there's no water, there's no shed. We have had animals have been dumped in desert areas. There's dogs that have just had puppies. So uh, we go out to the desert, pick them up, bring them, they get... Uh, medical attention from vets and then we get them safe and healthy and then we get them uh, adopted. Awesome. So you've been with them for a year so you've seen quite a few come and go, I huh? I have. I've been here That's volunteering great. for a year. That's so great. So I've seen families come and they're happy with their pet and oh, they have wow. rescue. So what, 
a lot of people want to know. I mean, I actually had a, a family next to me many years ago that had uh, just neglected some animals, and okay. and I called. And this was before I think you guys uh, uh, came about. So I don't. I'm sure they went to the city shelter. Yes. So this organization helps. They don't. They, they take these animals and make sure they don't go to that shelter. Is that how that works? Yes, that's how it works. And we what we want to is to give them a chance. Give them a chance to get healthy for them to get the medical attention that they need. Most of our animals are. The majority of them are animal cruelty victims, so most of them don't have the, you know, the, the healthy lifestyle that an animal should should have. So this is a nonprofit organization that, through donations as today, helps them get money to get uh, all that medical need that they need. So on some of the animals, are, what is would you say is the worst type of cases? The ones that were they're involved in dog fighting, or the ones that are just not being fed? We've seen so many different. Um, Animal cruelty, um, just uh, scenarios. We've had animals where they have been dumped from moving cars, animals that have been tied to poles, animals that have been dumped in the desert. So there's just so it's many. Just all so many wow, different. that's terrible. If you have a message to people who do that, no, no, no. <laughs> you know what? You can't say it on camera. <laughs> but I think sometimes humans don't deserve animals. I agree. Animals completely. are amazing, and it's just humanity. We have to reach out and, and love them and care for them as yeah. family members. You know, I have I have my dog. Uh, we lost his brother last year, but now he's all sweet, little red, rose, spoiled. So. He jumps in the bed and I'm the one that's moving over no. for you. <laughs> I, can ima I can't imagine leaving him tied up outside no, or, or no. If, I mean, it's even like, oh my God, it's five o'clock, I gotta get home to feed my dog. You know, it's really odd how people can just neglect and cost them like they don't, they don't care. Why adopt in the first place or have an animal, you know? It's, it's unfortunate, but well, thank you so much you're for what you're thank doing. You so All right, appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, hi. And you are the founder of this organization. All right, want to tell the people your name real quick and let them know just a couple of details? Hi, okay. my name is Vanessa Costa. I'm a detective of the El Paso Police Department. I founded the, this rescue on pause to save victims of animal cruelty because they're seen as, you know, broken and not adoptable. But they are, you know, they're very loving, very adoptable. They're boys who want to just give them a second chance at life. Sure. Just rehabilitate them and find them forever. Most of all, from the goal of our rescue. And you started in 2017? Correct. Yeah, we are February 2017. We started rescuing in November 2016, unofficially, but we became official with 501c3 in February 2017. Awesome. And you have, what kind of needs are the most important? I saw you mentioned the other day for uh, heartworm, and people came out and they donated yes, a, a good amount for that. A and lot of times, yes, we need monetary because a lot of stuff comes up with our I pets, like. with the spades, the neutering. Um, of course, our animals, they get sick because a lot of them come out uh, malnourished or you know, very emaciated. So we always need you know, constant funding to help us prevent care and everything. Sure. So it was the other day you had you were requested uh, help for heartworm and you had also for mop buckets to clean the, ca the, the yes. kennels. Thank you for everybody who donated. We got enough of our mop buckets. I appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you for helping us hold that. And awesome. Yeah. So we actually got four donated. Wow, that's great. I could have had two more and then once I saw your post that you had, I was like, okay guys, so thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Like, we, like I said, we always need like monetary um, dog toys. We need a lot of like dog, dog toys. toys. Okay. Um, the pedigree, if anybody can do the, donate pedigree, dry food. Dry food bags. Um, okay. Also the pedigree cans. We okay. try to stick to the same food because we don't want sure. our dog getting their upset stomach. Okay. Or you know, like for their real fat shaped animal uh, rescues, we need the, the pro plan. We get them on a higher end food just to get them back to health sure. and then we'll put them back on pedigree. Okay, so one question that uh, I've been asked is, like for the Humane Society, they charge about $100 for an adoption. What is it, a fee that you guys charge, if any, or what, how does that work? We do a 125 and okay. keep in mind that it goes back to our rescue because we're a nonprofit. <laughs> um, everything is donation-based. All our rescues come paid. They're supposed to be staying, they're neutering, they're vaccination, they're microchip, any type of vet care, of course, their food. As long as we have them, it's just for their care. It goes back Excellent. to help another rescue. And you have animals from puppies all the way, or how, what's the average? Right now, our youngest one probably we adopted our puppy would be maybe a year. Okay. Um, but if we do have puppies, the adoption fee is 150 and if it's an adult dog, it's 125 And just keep in mind, it just goes back to our rescue Absolutely, yeah. to help back our animals. Sure. That help That's back. fantastic. And, and who do we have here? This is Sweet Pea. She's our little ambassador. Sweet Pea? She's our, just our ambassador that comes to support the cause. She's a <laughs> victim also of animal cruelty. She is a victim of cruelty, huh? I ended up adopting her and keeping her, and she's very sweet, so now she became our, our ambassador for all of us. <laughs> she's awesome. we got to get her a little shirt. Do you have a, a lot of paws on You know what? I'm going to make her when I have one for her. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sweet Pea, you're doing a great job. 
doing a great job. You nice and comfortable little bag there. <laughs> now, how, and how old is she? She's about three years old. Oh, okay. She's, she, so she was a victim. What, what was her situation? You know, we don't know her exact story. When they found her, she had a cracked skull or a fractured jaw. Oh. Her hip was fractured. So I think somebody stomped on her or kicked her. Oh, no. Because if they would have run her over, she would have been, they would have killed her being her size. So having injuries and different, it makes more sense that they kicked her or they stomped on her. Wow, so cracked skull. Wow. And it's Dave, you can see right here where she has a... With her little, her mm -hmm. little stitches. And then on her jaw, she only has one bone that held because the other side shattered. Oh, that's terrible, mm -hmm. man. But I... you know what? She recuperated. She's loving life. She was two pounds when they found her. She's six pounds now. So wow, she that's needs, great. And how long have you had her? I've, I've had her for about two years. Okay, fantastic. And and please tell me the person who did that is in jail. <laughs> we never do more. I, I, I would love to have found the person who did yeah, that. Yeah, that's horrible. These <laughs> people she are... she was just found already in bad shape. Like wow, that. that's terrible. Well, Vanessa, thank you so oh, much for you. what you're doing. And it. we're trying our best to get as many people to uh, become aware of your organization. Oh, yeah. so tell them to uh, come down. And so last time you explained, a lot of times you don't bring the, the dogs because you the owners might come looking and exactly. stuff like that. So you don't have like this whole big elaborate like some of these organizations do. No, we don't. And like I said, it's by appointment that we meet with the person. We do, do home checks because we're not going to let our rescues go back into that horrible situation yeah. again. We have to be careful. We yeah. make sure that they don't go back to the same owner That's Perfect, yeah. That's great. And this is it. And they can find the animals online on your website, we lawandpaws.org, right? Yes, we have it at lawandpaws.org. Um, we also have um, our Facebook and our Instagram. Okay. Let me ask you another question. How often do you get new animals in? Do you Would you say, is there like a steady rate or is it... Uh, is it just random? You know what? Well, we have, um, right now, I know it's really bad. Um, unfortunately, we're getting three coming next week that were abandoned. Um, they're coming in in real bad shape. And if we don't pull them, you know, unfortunately, because animal service doesn't have any space, you know, we have to because we have to rescue them. They don't have a future, you know. Yeah. And they need to make space, and they're shutting down their behavior. So if we don't, we don't help them, then they're safe. Okay. And so none of your animals go to the Humane Society or anything. You guys handle it till the end? Or? We keep them till, I mean, we find them forever home. I mean, if some of them have to stay with us for life, I mean, we'll keep them. And how many animals have do you have? Uh, how long, What's the longest time you've had an animal so far? Right now, one of our longest ones is going to be Casanova. He came from, he was really emaciated. He was he had severe mange. We've had him about a year and a half. He's been one of us with the longest one. He's great. Wow. You know, we did an interview and maybe, I don't know if you saw, we did a, we were out at Fort Bliss and a lady came from the Humane Society with uh, one of her animals, a poodle that was named was Boogie. And he had been in the shelter for about three years. Yeah. And so we blasted that all over and he finally got adopted. Oh, awesome. So thank God. So hopefully we can help uh, uh, get some of these animals that you had for a long time adopted and do like a little showcase or something. Oh, because I know a lot of people, you know, we have big hearts, right? And a lot of us... The animals shouldn't be in a shelter so long, you know. I mean, we should be able to help. So and maybe most of ours are, are going to be pit, so we need a strong owner, <coughs> yeah. somebody who's active, is going to be running, hiking with them, because they do require a lot of work. Uh, they, 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 yeah. Yeah. Very high energy, awesome. so we need an active person for most of a lot of our, but we do have seniors, so we do have some calm, docile. Awesome. awesome. Wow, that's great. Well, this is an awesome organization. I love seeing this happen. So we're going to be happy to help you. I'm going to go look around and see what's going on. And what's going on over here? We have Tar here with us. They're a big supporter of us. So like I said, the chief of police has been a big supporter of us. Uh -huh. They come to just uh, push the amber cards for children. Like if the parents want to have cards, <coughs> like ID cards for their kids, they're making them. All oh, right. Let me so, go to see if I can talk to these people, fine folks over here. All right. Thank you so much, thank Vanessa, you. for your time, and we're going to continue to press all this information. Okay. Thank all right. Thanks again. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. How are you? I'm Ben from Sun City Live Streams. I was over there interviewing with Vanessa. We were a very strong supporter. I am from, uh, uh, I guess it's Sun City Live Streams. So here's our card. So. She told us you guys are doing the ID cards for children here. Yes. Right? And that's for the... Uh, yeah, can you, can you explain cards. that first? Maybe we can get some people down here. You know about the Amber cards? Yeah. You guys, tell us about the Amber cards. Yeah, there you go. Hey, you're, you're the next generation that's going to be handling this. So you. <laughs> okay, what's the deal with the Amber cards? Uh, Amber. Um, in case, like, a child gets stolen or lost. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But um, sometimes the parents are too panicked to give information to the police. Okay. So they can give them the so okay. To look. Awesome. And what kind? Of, what? Is, what kind of information is on the card? Um, the child's name, any special marks on the child, like a birthmark, card. Okay. Uh, if they need any special medical care, like they have to go to the doctor or they need to go to the Wow, that's really cool. How How long is this uh, going to be here today? Uh, till two. Till two.
Till 2 o'clock? So you're almost about another hour and a half maybe, huh? Yeah. So 2 o'clock. Okay. And this is, uh, it, what's the cost? Is there a cost for this? A charge? No charge for this? Awesome. This is fantastic. All right, guys. So we're here on Walmart on North Loop uh, at the neighborhood Walmart. If you guys want to come down and get a, a, a card for your children, uh, this is pretty cool. They didn't have this back in my day. I wish I had some of this for my son. But this is a really cool. How long has this been? Uh, you guys had this program. Yeah. For years, we've been doing this for years. Uh, been providing amber cards for children. Uh, we also have crime prevention uh, brochures here. Okay. Uh, auto theft. Uh, just a bunch. Of, a bunch a of, of things about. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I really appreciate you guys, and thank you for your service for putting your lives on the line for us. We really appreciate it. A strong supporter. Uh, people don't appreciate you guys enough. I'm, I'm you know. <laughs> so we got your back completely, 100%, guys. Thank, thank you. you so much. All right, and thank you guys for your time here. You're doing a good thing here, really good thing. I don't think you realize how good of a thing you're doing. <laughs> yeah, oh, I hope so, man. We need more good people to, to do that. I don't have the courage to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, there you have it, folks. Um, again, we are here with Law and Paws at, in, outside of Walmart on North Loop. And Law and Paws is a nonprofit organization who is uh, sheltering abused and neglected animals. And they, they rehab them, they feed them, they get a medical treatment. Some of them are, are neglected to the point where they have uh, emaciated, been emaciated, so they, can't, they haven't had any food. They're stuck out in the desert, somebody just dumps them or they're involved in dog fighting, or you name it, there's all kinds of abusive type things happening. And uh, we're also here with the El Paso Police Department, they're doing the Amber Cards, uh, so you can get your uh, identification of your children on a card that you hold with you that has their allergies, they have all kinds of things, uh, they have all kinds of things uh, that you can list on there. In case of an emergency, you can just hand that card right to the police officer if something happens, and all your child's information there, so if they need to find them, or, or they need to help them in a medical situation. It's, it makes life so much easier, especially if it's a panic situation. Uh, you can't think fast enough, and uh, that'll help the police officers do their job quicker. So guys, we're on pause again. We're right here on, 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 on a North Loop. If you have some time to come and donate to Law and Paws, you're gonna get a free popcorn and you're gonna get a free soda, and uh, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a, 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 a very thankful for you guys to come out and donate to these to this shelter. They're not a big organization because uh, they're not they're not the size of uh, of, uh, of uh, the Humane Society, and they don't have any money coming in from the city or any type of thing, of any type of thing like that. So any donation that you can make either here or online uh, you can find out how to donate to them online on their website lawandpaws.org and again we're going to try to start showcasing some of their animals and we're going to try to showcase some of their animals and see what kind of uh, uh, animals are there available if you look on the website they have photos but they also have if you come out you can see their photos in the book there it's too hot for these animals and the, and a lot of times they don't want to put them through the stress of being traveling after being experiencing the traumatic lives that they've already had so they have a bunch of cool cute little puppies and, <laughs> and big dogs <laughs> So she said they're mostly pits, as you can imagine, people who adopt pits don't quite understand how to handle a pit bull. And so what happens is the animal will get uh, to the point where they either don't want to take care of them or they can't take care of them because they don't know how to be around animals. And so they end up neglecting their animal and what happens, or you know, there's also the bad ones, the ones that are caught doing bad things and the officers find out that these animals have been neglected after uh, based on other things. and. Neighbors will call and see them chained outside, and uh, so they'll they'll go and pick them up. But they have all kinds of dogs, uh, from pit bulls all the way up to different you know different brand different breeds. So if you get a chance to get out here, please do. Uh, they're going to be here till I believe they're going to be here till three o'clock today, which is about another uh, I want to say what time is it here? Twelve thirty now. So you got. Uh, Got about two and a half hours left if you want to come out to North Loop and, and help Law and Paws or again you can do it online at their website lawandpaws.org uh, any any little bit helps like I said the other day they were asking for uh, some monetary donations for uh, heartworm pills because it is summertime and you have a, a whole bunch of mosquitoes in this part of the town a part of the world and mosquitoes love dogs that are that are in shelters and they were asking asking for mop buckets and see those mop buckets are they, where they were buying those so they can clean the kettles out so um, they're, they're very uh, uh, 
dedicated organization. The, the, the person who founded it is Vanessa here, right here, and she's a police officer who is, who is doing this, and she's found these animals while she was out uh, doing her job as a police officer, and they run across these animals, so instead of taking them to the animal shelter, the, the city shelter, she decides to take these animals in that have been neglected and abused, and she nurses them back to health and gets them ready uh, back to join uh, a forever home. Uh, some finally get them into a home that actually will care for the animal, will actually love the animal. And uh, it's a lot of work that goes into this. She's dedicating a lot of her time. She's got a big heart and her volunteers here, they're all huge hearts. They all have the uh, best intentions for these animals. And we just hope that we can get more people aware of this organization. A lot of people are not familiar with Law and Paws, but hopefully with, through us, through you sharing these videos, uh, and we can get more people to know about them. And this takes nothing away from Humane Society and all the numerous other shelters out there. They all do great work. They all do fantastic work. And actually, I own a couple of animals uh, that are from the... I got one 18-year-old uh, kitty from uh, the animal sh uh, the, the city shelter, and I got another one that I just adopted, Atlas, and you might see him on my own personal page. And he's from the Humane Society. Uh, and I got me a dog that somebody dropped on my doorstep. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I am an animal lover myself. And so I know a lot of you are as well. So um, if you can help these poor animals who've been neglected, and these are specifically animals that have been neglected or abused. Okay, these are not typical animals. So there's a lot of rehab that goes into play here. A lot of things that are, a lot of things that are that are happening here uh, in this or, in this organization that are being um, that are being tended to. So by all means, if you have it in your heart, uh, I, if you can, all they ask for is a dollar donation, two dollar donation, five dollar donation, any, any, anything. Believe it or not, uh, any, any small amount of a donation helps. Any small amount of a donation helps. So by all means, please, uh, please uh, donate if you can, and if you, if you can, uh, make a monthly donation of maybe a dollar, five dollars, something, just a few pennies, something. Uh, anything will help. Anything will help. Because if you can think about it, five dollars can buy a, a, a couple of cans of dog food uh, that maybe they couldn't, they didn't have before, you know. Or maybe you can donate a bag of dog food yourself. Pedigree is the brand they want to stay on to keep the dog's uh, diet steady. So pedigree dog food, can or bag, is fine. Um, if you want to bring it to them here, you can. If you want to come in and buy uh, at Walmart and buy them some dog food, you can buy them a, a bag of dog food and drop it off here at, at, the, at this location. Again, they are on the, the Walmart, uh, uh, the market, the grocery store on North Loop. And uh, we'll be here till, the organization will be here till 3 o'clock. So you have about another, again, two and a half hours to come in if, if you have time to help them out. And I would really appreciate if you guys spread this information all over. Uh, spread it on Facebook. Get as many people as you can to find out about Law and Paws. Um, because it's an amazing organization and again I'm gonna see about getting out to their their site they don't have open an open shelter like you have the Humane Society or City because because of the concern of, of, of owners previous owners trying to hunt down their dogs after they've been taken away for the cruelty so they only operate by appointment so you will have to call Law and Paws or reach out to them on Facebook to make an appointment to go in and see the animals uh, which they're happy to do. So feel free to reach out to Vanessa and the team here and uh, to get out uh, to their site. And I don't know where the site is myself, so uh, I haven't been out there yet, but I plan to get out there and do some video on a couple of their animals to maybe showcase them uh, and get some get some adoptions going, okay? So by all means, guys, if you, if you, uh, if you can come out, we really appreciate it. There's lots of people donating as they walk out. They're appreciating the, the monetary donations. But they also accept food. They also accept. They also accept food. They also accept. Uh, I like to drive. They want dog toys. If you can give them dog toys, they they said they need a dog toys to help the animals rehabilitate. Uh, so if you have anything that you can donate, please do so. They'd be greatly appreciate all that. All right, guys. This has been from Sun City Live Streams. Please share this video all over El Paso and all over the country if you can to maybe encourage other other police organizations to do the same kind of thing. Um, Vanessa is a police officer and she took it into her own heart uh, in to do this herself to, because she saw the neglect the animals were facing. So if maybe we can encourage other police departments uh, to do this kind of thing instead of just taking them to the shelter, they're actually rehabbing and give them another chance. So, okay, again, guys, I'm over here on what, the Walmart Market 
on North Loop. And if you can come on in, that'd be fantastic. Come on in and donate. We really appreciate it. Please share this video. Share, share, share as much as you can. And this has been with Sunset Live Streams. I thank you for watching and I thank you for sharing. I thank you for everything that you guys do. Uh, we love El Paso and we need to start showing it and let's start spreading this information around and help Law and Paws uh, get, get some donations so they can help their little animals that they're rescuing from all of these homes that are abusing and neglecting. All right, guys, this has been. I am on my way to the next appointment, so stay tuned on, on uh, Sun City live streams if you'd like to watch. We're going to go to the West Texas Arm Wrestling Championship here in a few minutes and see how that works out. All right, guys, talk to you.